Hello my uh, YouTube subscribers who are watching this. Welcome to another episode of Dog House Restoration. If you remember last time I um, painted the house red. And this time I'm working on getting the trim ready. And I'm actually going to be painting this corner, part of this other corner over here. Not sure if you can tell, but this corner right here, I'm actually going to, just to throw off a little bit of the red color, I'm going to paint this area right here blue. Then, as you can see, I started to draw the shape I want for the door. And then I'm also going to be doing a, um, a dog bone shaped window. So, but as for right now, I'm probably just going to get the trim ready and paint the corner blue. So first off, I will get out my blue paint as well as my tape because I only want part of that part of it painted blue, not the whole thing. So let me come over here. We're going to put this right over here. I right, come over here and get out my handy dandy blue spray paint as well as my tape I'm going to tape off so I don't paint up everything. I just want my uh, can of blue spray paint and I have my painter's tape which is usually the best. And I have some old uh, newspaper here that I'm going to use to cover up what I don't want the paint on. So. Leave those keys over there. So first, I gotta open up my my paint here. My uh, tape, my painter's tape is the proper term. Painter's tape. So take this. And here's my Sunday comics. As you can see, I got some. Well, I don't know if you can see it. Maybe out of the frame, but I have some paper down here to protect what is under the. But now I gotta use this tape here to put on. I'll turn the camera again just a little bit so I can cover up what I don't want painted. Because so I'm just going to do the one corner. I thought I'd maybe do like the whole one side, but I think just the one corner and then I'll kind of um, make things look a little bit different. And then I'm going to do the uh, all the trim I'm going to do. That's all going to be white. But for now, I'm going to line up when I'm painting the blue. So pretty much all this area right here is going to be blue. So I just want to put on tape on whatever I don't want. All the part that I'm not going to put the, the paint on. So... This too, because I don't want to get any tape up under here. Your tape, well yeah, tape of course, but not, I mean paint. And then on this side over here, I'm going to do kind of something similar to that. So I will do it kind of here. So I got the tape there. Just sort of show exactly the part I want to get the blue on. Now I'm just going to cover up whatever I don't want the blue paint on. First I'm going to use this tape here to be sure I have the edges protected. And then now next I'm going to use this newspaper to really cover up what I don't want the blue on. So I will now take this newspaper and put it all right here so that I will cover up all this that's already red that I don't want the blue on. So I'm going to do that so that the blue does not go over onto the red. Welcome to Southern California where it's hot. I don't even know how long I'm going to make it on this episode, but we'll see.
I want to be sure that nothing gets on parts I don't want painted blue. So I got some more paper over here to make sure I get everything covered that I don't want. So I'll take this other little bit here, put it right here, just to make sure that it's all covered. Because I don't want any, I only want this corner piece here to be blue. Nothing else. Just to sort of throw the color off is, is the main reason why I'm doing this. Let's see, what about over here? This is. Let me see here. Just to make sure that only this here is blue. So, this corner strip right here is going to be blue. Let's see, turn the camera a little bit more so you guys can see better. And then now I'll take my can of blue spray paint, put on my little gun trigger. Make sure I got it lined up right. And now we can paint the blue. I want to be sure I get a good thick coat to really, because of that red underneath it, I'm going to be sure I cover up the, the red that I had already started painting on there. This is more just something just for me to give it kind of a little more, more of a artistic look to it, to throw it all off. So okay, there's the blue, and that's that's the blue for now. And then now, whoops, whoops. Let 